to have a bag and we set, we give these away when you buy the GB120 fold up scooter as a gift to you. This is a really cool little bag and I want to show you what it's, how it works. Um, first of all, from measurements on it, it's about 15 inches across. It's about a foot this way and the depth currently right here is about four inches. What's neat about this bag is it does have a shoulder strap so you can put this over your shoulder, but you have a zipper to make it wider right here. So once you open that up, you have it about 10. So let's say that you have a raincoat or a umbrella or an oxygen, portable oxygen tank concentrator or concentrator. Um, you can put that back here and it's vented. So it's gonna allow that concentrator to breathe. So your, your thing might fit in here. So you just probably wanna make sure if it's not an overly big one, you can get it, you know, like I said about the specs, you make sure it's about 10, 11 inches and about 14 across. So this fits perfect on our GB120 fold up scooter. It also can fit on other units. It doesn't have to be golden. Even though this says golden, it doesn't have to be a golden product. So I want to show you, here is a Pride ES. And now this could be a great solution for this because this ES too doesn't come with a basket. This is your little clip. Let's bring this around. And how you would attach it is this would come down like so and then you have a you just buckle it right here and then you can tighten it up now this is going to be a lot of strap so you can cut it figure it out once you get this attached you won't have to do all this that i'm doing and then over here you have a, this is the strap to tighten it up on the side so let's see what what's going on with this Andre, okay, hang on, look over here. It's on this side, so watch this. So you just tighten it up. Gotcha. You're just gonna drop this right over. Watch this little thing. And once you get this set up to how you like it, to take this off if you need to, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm making this difficult, which is, see this? Make sure that's down. Get this back over it. And then you can tighten that up here. And then on the sides, you can tighten it up. So it's actually really, you can make it really snug on this unit. And then to remove it, all you're gonna do is Clip that and then just a little bit of adjustment on the side and pull it right off and then you can carry and you can adjust this strap you can carry it over your shoulder now this is the width of this back went on really nice was about 17 inches so this is a Revo where the back's a little bit wider I think this is like 20 inches across so I would just take it here and there's other bags out there, but we do like these. You just adjust this strap. But I would imagine it would go on there. And then bring this down, because it's longer. And you're just gonna attach it. You probably can go on a high back too. We'll go look at a power chair because of this cutout. You might have to remove the headrest. So let's go. Let's go check out a power chair, Andre. Um, if you're going to put it on this, you would have to remove the headrest. You would take it. You would drop it down. And that's probably why this strap's so long, because now I need this strap to be a lot longer. 
And again, you'd bring it up through here. Bring it all the way out. And it's close. And then you got it there. So you might not like this, but this is this back's kind of kind of high, so I probably wouldn't suggest this for a power wheelchair, but it, it could fit on it. It'd probably be better on something like this or this one, but not a full high back power wheelchair back. So if you're looking for a nice little portable bag for a small scooter like a GoGo, um, a Buzz Around XL, EX, something like that, check out this little bag. You'll like it. It's a nice bag. They call it a hard shell. This is not too hard. It's just like a little piece of plastic in there. It kind of bubbles itself out, but we like them. They're about 69 bucks. Check us out at affordablemedicalusa.com.